Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Mir Muhammad Vasik on Mir's Electro Lair. Uh, today, as you see into in my background, Tesla coils are here. So today we are going to uh, make a Tesla coil, and we understand how the Tesla coils are basically these coils are uh, working. And uh, I'll, before I proceed to the Tesla coil, I'll tell you bits and bits of uh, the Tesla coil. Uh, in the early 19th century, Nikola Tesla patented this uh, Tesla coil, and that's why we call it uh, Tesla coil because uh, uh, you know the, the inventor of this uh, whole circuit is Nikola Tesla. So let's come to the circuit before I proceed towards the hardware, so you can understand how the Tesla coils are basically these coils are working. So circuit is very simple. What you need is uh, you need few components here, right, to uh, build the Tesla coil. Here I'm using TIP35. It's an NPN transistor that I already have, so uh, I'm just using this one, right. You need a transistor. You can use any of NPN transistor that you have, right. And uh, you need a copper enamel wire. I'm using 26 gauge of the copper enamel wire to make my secondary load. That's the secondary coil over here, right? It's 1300 turns here in the tower. So I'm uh, just uh, using uh, this uh, 26 gauge copper enamel wire over here. Now the thick electric transmission wire is used here for the primary coil uh, that's, uh, that is connected here, right? So in this way, we are making a you can say like, uh, uh, it's a, you can say like uh, a resonant transformer, right? This one. So Tesla coil is a, uh, is a radio frequency, uh, it's a radio frequency oscillator, right? That drives the air core double uh, tuned resonant transformer to produce high voltages uh, on very low currents, right? So it means uh, on the secondary coil, we have very, very high voltages with very, very low currents. And uh, how it works, it works on a, on a magic, we call it a resonance, right? On the principle, on the phenomenon of the resonance, this Tesla coil is basically, it, work, it works, right? Now, uh, as far as concerned with the resonance, uh, the resonance describes the phenomenon of increased amplitude that occurs whenever the your applied force uh, or the you know the uh, your applying force right is equal to the natural frequency of the system on which you are working on in this way you can uh, increase the amplitudes and when the amplitudes are increased right energy is increased and it's 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 getting uh, you can say like uh, constructing right if it's in a construct uh, we have two sorts of, uh, you know, the two sorts of the phenomena that that occurs here: constructive interference or the destructive interference. Here, the due to the constructive interference, this resonant uh, creates uh, induction field near uh, the area of the coil. The, in that area, we transmit pure electric power. So that's the you can say like. Uh, mm, this is the uh, you can say like the description of uh, the uh, of the circuitry. Now, what happens is whenever the voltage, uh, if you bring the camera over here, right? Whenever the voltage from the positive terminal, right, it goes into the coil or primary coil, right? It induces a voltage into the secondary coil. Now, here a sort of a LC circuit is in work. Basically, now uh, we are not seeing any capacitor here, but it's a virtual capacitor that's basically uh, uh, just uh, connecting from this uh, load to the ground. In this way, this inductor and that capacitor together make an LC circuit, and due to that LC circuit, uh, it's a this uh, you can say this Tesla coil is a powerful uh, electromagnetic. Uh, or a radio trans, uh, transmitter. It's a very powerful transmitter. Now, if you bring the camera over here, right, this is the LC circuit. Uh, this is a inductor, right, and this is the capacitor. 
if we discharge any of, uh, of uh, any inductor right with a capacitor what we get is uh, a sort of a uh, you can say like em waves with decaying pattern you see the amplitude is here the amplitude is a bit, bit more higher right here the amplitude get lower and lower and lower and lower but if uh, we make the circuit in a way that we supply energy uh, continuously to this inductor then what we get is a balanced you can say like a pure sinusoidal uh, uh, you can say like a sinusoidal wave with the equal amplitude right so that's basically this um, this wave is coming out of uh, the tra of this tower so we use this tower as a transmitter as well so in the next my upcoming videos i'll show you how to use this uh, uh, tower as a transmitter to transmit human voice onto the tower right uh, now let's have a look how this tower works it's very simple and I'll show you how uh, I built it right so this is uh, the positive terminal here when switch is closed current will go into the primary coil and end up onto the collector of your NPN transistor. The base is connected with a 22K resistor, right? It is bypassed. This 22K resistor is connected from the positive terminal to the base. And emitter is straightly grounded. It's grounded. It's into the negative uh, side of the source, right? So uh, that's the circuit over here. Now have a look uh, this uh, onto the secondary coil. Uh, one end of the secondary coil is connected back to the base. So what happens is, when the switch uh, is closed, current is uh, passing from the primary coil, it induces the voltage into the secondary coil. This induced voltage, when the, the virtual capacitor is here, right? This virtual capacitor helps to uh, complete the circuit and this voltage comes back into the base of the transistor, right? This, uh, um, although it's not very high, it's little voltage, so it, com it comes into the base of the transistor, but it's enough to drive the transistor uh, back. So in this way, again and again, uh, you know, this uh, circuit goes on. When the switch is closed, current is coming and it's uh, staying onto the collector. Now, uh, because first time the base is, uh, you know, it is bypassed with 22K resistor. Now, uh, the uh, you know, this uh, uh, current from the collector is jumped in onto the emitter and the circuit gets complete, right? Now, because the voltage is passed from the primary coil, it induces voltage into the secondary coil, and because the secondary coil is again back connected to the base of the transistor, so this way, uh, transistor, uh, the, the transistor is driving again, and collector uh, current from the collector jumps, uh, back, uh, jumps from collector to the emitter. So this way, again, voltage is induced into the secondary coil, and uh, you know it is already connected with the base so again the base is connected uh, base is active so the current from the collector jump to the emitter so in this way the cycle goes on and on and on and uh, the induction field develops that uh, around the tower now let's come to the output have a look now i'm using this uh, power supply right uh, it's a bring the camera over here right it's a power supply that we are using today. It's 24 volts, uh, 1500 milliampere, right? Uh, you can use any of power supply, but um, I got this one here, so I'm using this one. So I'm just connecting the negative terminal. Positive is already connected, so I'm connecting the negative terminal to the circuit. Now, here you see the LED is going, it means circuit is working. Now I'm bringing this, uh, this thing near to the tower and have a look this brightly you see without any wires uh, you know the pure electric power is transmitted from uh, tower to the this uh, fluorescent lamp right so now I'm using this big one so better to put off the lights to show you uh, you know the output you see this one right yeah it's not too bad on a on 24 volt uh, direct current right i put off the lights so you can uh, see this uh, effect here i'll show you the coronas as well that's coming out of the tower right so this way we are transmitting pure electric power from the tower 
to this uh, fluorescent lamp. So um, I got another lamp here, so I'm using this one. Have a look now. Both of them are glowing, so it's uh, it's not too bad, right? It's not too bad. So this way, uh, we are transmitting pure electric power wirelessly from transmitter to the receiver. Now I'll show you the coronas that are building uh, around this, uh, uh, you can say like tower. I'll show you, I'll put this one here, and I'll show you the coronas. Uh, I'm using a tester now. Bring the camera over here, so uh, bring the camera close to the coronas. You see, the coronas are jumping from the Lord here, bring the camera very close, very close to the coronas, very close to the sparks here. Yes, zoom it to the spark, right? Zoom it to the spark. You see now this effect, the coronas are jumping out of the tower. This is a tester that, that I'm using, this tester here, right? And even the light of the tester inside, the light is glowing now. And you see, this. Uh, these are the coronas. Uh, if you focus it, right? Uh, now the corona is jumping, you see, it's jumping. Now I'm using my hands, right, you see the, you see, it's coming out of, I'm jumping to my hands. Although it's, it's hurting, but uh, it's, it's not dangerous because it's on uh, high frequencies. Uh, high frequencies are not dan dangerous for, for us, right? Uh, low frequencies, uh, obviously, sure, kills us. So this way, uh, we are transmitting this uh, pure electric power uh, uh, from this Tesla tower. So also, uh, you like my today's this video, and uh, if you like my this video, uh, please uh, uh, click on to the thumbs up button, right? Subscribe it and share it with your friends. And thank you very much. Thanks for watching.